How's it going guys? This is Walt's Hot Rods. Um, this is going to be uh, an instructional video on how to do drum brakes. We're currently working on a, what is this, a 51 Merc, um, Monterey, um, and Eddie's going to show you how to do the brakes. Uh, right now we've already taken off the wheel and uh, the drum rotor, um, so we're going to start by, I guess, removing all the return springs, which is on the, the right and left side. You can see the blue and white. And then we also have some hold down springs that hold the actual um, primary and secondary shoes on there. Um, the tools we're going to be running through is we have an installer, or we have a remover right here, um, and that just removes your return springs. This removes the retaining spring, um, there on the right and left side, that hold, there's a pin that goes on the back side that holds your shoes on. Um, and then we also have an installer, and that's what that looks like. Yep. Alright. Alright, we're going to be beginning removing the springs. Eddie's removing the override spring that does the self-adjuster um, with our little removal tool. It's a little tough, so you're going to need to give it some muscle. Um, next, he's going to do the right side return spring, the white spring right there. Uh, next, he's moving on to the blue spring, which is another return spring for the primary shoe. After he gets those out, he's going to go ahead and move to the actuating link that goes to the secondary shoe and the uh, self-adjuster. After that he can remove the spring that was below the self-adjuster. And then he removes the guide for the master or the, the brake cylinder. Next we're gonna go ahead and get the self-adjuster out of there. Sorry about the noise guys self-adjuster is coming out. Be careful when you remove the self-adjuster the shoes are going to want to go in towards each other and they're going to be loose. That's why we left the uh, hold down springs for last just so they stay on there. And he's removing the retention spring and the hold down springs for the shoes. Oh. You will have some pieces and parts probably fall. If your system is old, parts will probably break, maybe not. You move the pin for the secondary shoe. And all we have left is the primary shoe. And that's it guys, that's how you remove drum brakes off a 51 mark. Alright, we'll be back with the uh, install. Uh, thanks for watching. Alright, um, when installing the, the first, the primary shoe is what we're going to do. That is the washer that goes into a hole that goes into the primary shoe to hold it down. Um, and then you have a spring that goes on top of the washer. And then the there's another washer that holds the pin that goes through the whole entire spring or the whole entire assembly that will eventually hold down the, the primary shoe. And you just install it in the hole like that. Um, we're going to go ahead and start with that. Again, put the pin in through the back of the plate. so your shoe can be held down. Make sure and align it with your brake cylinder. That's very important. And make sure everything fits. Um, if you need to, the old pins that go on the brake cylinder, scuff those down. You don't want those locking up or season to the, uh, the primary brake shoe or the secondary. Um, and remember that your both your brake shoes are going to be different, so note your primary and your secondary when you go to put them on.
And here we are installing the secondary. We already have uh, attached our self-adjusting uh, lever and our spring to hold the secondary shoe on. Just get a couple things out of the way. And there's also a little pivot plate that goes onto the self-adjuster. Note where that goes, up in the top right corner of the adjuster. And then again, align with your your wheel cylinder or your brake cylinder pin there. Make sure you got everything good. Now, everything's pretty much set on there. The springs are holding the, uh, the, uh, the shoes on. Next, we're going to install the uh, retention spring for both the shoes and the self-adjuster. <laughs> Eddie's laughing at me. You get you got pliers. Again, it's going to be a little bit difficult getting all these springs on, so Eddie's going to grab some pliers and get that spring onto that shoe, that secondary shoe. If you can see, he's putting the spring on right there, that little small red spring. Get some pliers in there to get a better grip. There you go, you might have to readjust. We're doing some welding in the background. Uh, we went ahead and put our guide on there for the brake cylinder. Next we're gonna install our actuating link that goes to our self adjuster. And it's a little tricky, you're gonna have to play with it a couple times, but. Now we install our um, self adjuster. And one thing to note is make sure you lube inside of the adjuster with a thrust washer and adjusting screw. You're going to make sure that that has enough lube on it because it is going to have constant action, I guess. Eddie went, went ahead and installed the, uh, the return spring for the adjuster, and now he's installing the return spring for the primary shoe. And make sure you have an install installation tool. It makes it a lot easier rather than your vice grips or your pliers. When you go to install the spring, stick the installer inside the little loop. Then you're going to want to grab the uh, the pin that comes through the guide for your brake shoes there. Next, we're installing the override spring for the self adjuster or adjust lever. Again, use your little installation tool, makes it a lot easier on yourself. Again, these springs have a lot of tension, so you're going to need to muscle it in there and get everything on. But that pretty much completes our installation. Um, thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in another video. Thanks. All right, after you got everything on from your installation and you pretty much finished everything up, um, you're going to go ahead and want to uh, adjust uh, your shoes to your drum. Um, it's very vital that you have some stiffness in the drum. We're going to go ahead and show you. Uh, so you install your drum or your rotor. 
and see there's there's not enough grab from your brake shoes um, that's, that's not good stopping power so we're gonna go ahead and show you how to adjust um, with our adjusting tool um, there it is and you can pick that up at any uh, auto parts store so um, go ahead and go in through the back side there now on the plate in the back there should be a little access hole for you to be able to adjust the adjuster um, you can see the little tool coming through and turn in the little gear there When you're adjusting, make sure you're going the right way because each side is different. Um, so on the, in this case, we're on the pat, we're on the driver's side, and him rotating the tool up is what's moving the adjuster out. Um, we're we'll go ahead and zoom out here. There you go. Now you want it to be a little tight. You want it to be snug. Uh, make sure you have enough. See that, and that still isn't enough. Um, and it doesn't hurt to check. So here we go, we're going to adjust again. We're adjusting out since there wasn't enough grab from your shoes. Gonna go ahead and check again. That's that's a little bit too much. Um, it's kind of hard to get the rotor or the the drum on there. And the only reason we're taking it off and on is just so you guys can see how to do this. So we're going to go ahead and adjust it back. Now you will have to lift up uh, sometimes on the self-adjusting bracket. Um, so now we're going down to loosen the tension on the, the brake shoes. Alright, after you've gotten everything adjusted um, in the whole system here, uh, we're going to go ahead and install the drum back on and show you how much stiffness it should have. Now you do want some drag right there, that's a, about a perfect amount. It doesn't, you know, fully spin on you and it doesn't stop completely when you try and spin it. Um, but hope you guys like the video. Um, we'll be having more here in the shop pretty soon. Uh, we'll probably do some disc brake um, tear down and assemblies for you and then um, we'll cover whatever you guys leave in the comment. Make sure and like, comment, subscribe. Um, Waltz Hot Rods out.